folks, I'm Nathan here with two guys in a ride, and today we're at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds with the 1950s Classic Car Show, with cars from 1964 and older. And today we're here with Ron. Ron has a uh, Sudebaker Avanti, and I, I believe it's a 63? Yes, sir. And so, uh, Ron, we're just going to hand you the microphone and, you know, tell us why you got this car, what was your attraction to it, um, and anything you've done to the car. Okay. Uh, well, it was my father-in-law's car. Uh, he had it, and uh, uh, my wife actually drove this car when she was in high school. Oh, my goodness. So, and then uh, when he decided to sell it, he... Uh, yeah, I decided to sell it to me because I'm a uh, mechanic, uh, aircraft mechanic by trade for Delta Airlines. Uh, but the car actually is a 1963 Studebaker Avanti. It's the R1 engine, which means it's carbureted and not uh, supercharged, as uh, an option was. I noticed there's a there's a is it a boost gauge on the other side? Uh, that's a it's a, a fuel pressure gauge. Fuel pressure gauge. Yeah, yeah. That, that that I installed. That that's not stock. Okay. Uh, I installed a uh, electric fuel pump on it. Okay. Uh, and that's that's why the fuel pressure gauge is, has been installed. Right. But again, 240 uh, 240 horse Carter AFB uh, four barrel. Uh, the engine is all uh, uh, was. I rebuilt it probably three, four thousand miles ago. Okay. And uh, it's all numbers matching, transmission, everything is. Uh, wow. Is, uh, uh, so it's from, about as original as you can. Well, it's it's as original as I could keep it. Right. You know. Safely uh, keep it. Right. Yes. And yeah. uh, it's not, that's just really cool that this is a car that your wife drove, um, in high school. And was your father-in-law's car? Exactly. <laughs> that's kind of a neat story. <laughs> wow. Um, so you, you liked the son-in-law enough to uh, let you have it, right? Yeah, it was. All right. So let's let's step up to the front here a little bit. I want to ask you a few questions about this, since you are uh, more familiar, obviously, with the Sudebaker than I am. Um, you know, this is just a really different view. I mean, normally you'd see a grill. So, do you have any idea, uh, you know, why Studebaker um, did this and what, what they were trying to do? Well, the car was designed by Raymond Lowy and uh, four, other, four other designers. Now, um, uh, Egbert uh, was the, the president of Studebaker at the time, and he wanted a car that was designed with no straight lines on it at all. Really? That was one of his stipulations, not a straight line on it. Now, as far as the front end, I don't know the whole specifics of whatnot, but the air intake is actually below the bumper, and that's why you can't, uh, most people normally don't see it. Yeah, okay, so you're seeing it right now in the video, but there is a very large air intake. Um, all right, so let's step back here into the interior. Now, how much restoration... You know, did you do when you got this car from your father-in-law? How much was already done? Is this the way we see it, or did you do some things to it? Yeah, I, I had the uh, the body had it, it's all fiberglass, and uh, over the years the the uh, fiberglass had cracked and uh, whatnot. So I had to have the fiberglass repaired. Uh, as far as the paint is concerned, I had the paint, I had the car stripped right down to the gel coat uh, because it's a fiberglass body. I had to strip right down to the gel coat with uh, plastic medium, and then we went uh, uh, built the body back up from there. Okay, so th th this is uh, uh, something really unusual. I mean, a, a body made out of fiberglass for the 1963. That had to be one of the few companies making fiberglass bodies. Right, along with the obviously uh, along with the Corvette. Right, the Corvette Chevy had the Corvette. Then. Right, uh huh. Yeah. And this and this was a, a this was in competition sort of a little bit with the Corvette. Is that right? Well, uh, some people think so, but this car was produced as a as a as a touring car. Okay. And uh, so it wasn't in direct competition with the Corvette. It was more in competition with the Thunderbird because oh. of the it's a it's a four seater four car, seat. and uh, the Corvette, of course, is a two seat sports car. Okay. Well, but but this was a, a touring car more than a sports car. Okay, I, d I did not know that. That's right. Interesting. Uh huh. So, um, so now, do do you uh, it, the, the car itself? The car itself is beautiful. And uh, do you uh, do you drive it often? Do you take it out in the road? Do you just take it to shows? 
Well, I, I, I'm taking it to more and more shows now because I just recently you're, retired. And congratulations thank, on your retirement. Thank you, thank you. So I'm taking it to more and more shows now than I have been in, okay. in, in past past years. So I'm, I'm drive, driving it more and I'm trying to enjoy it more. Well, that is just awesome. And Ron, thank you so much for sharing your car and your story with us. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. Beautiful car and story. <laughs> Great. Thanks very much.